Hi, it's Mary Atul from thelightwithinwellness.com. And I recently had an experience that I wanted to connect with you about. And it was something that someone did in kind of directly or indirectly that had a, a negative impact on me that totally delayed me, that impacted what I was doing and um, sabotaged it, basically. And it wasn't very direct but was indirect and it was it's those are the types of situations that's hard to address because it's not on the surface and it's not very clear what's going on <clears throat> but I remember I did the best I could in the moment and I remember feeling really upset and being angry about it and at one point I just felt this deep sadness and this deep disappointment because I felt totally disrespected. And I couldn't believe that people would disrespect other people in that way. And I, I, I was just, at the surface, you could visibly see I was upset and angry. With every reason to be, Every if I were to tell you the story, you probably would agree. But deep down, that sense of disrespect I was I couldn't get over that and so the next day I just had that raw um, vulnerable feeling of being disrespected and I felt a little bit of a victim in the sense of how could this person be this way with me I've never I would never do this to this person or anybody else and how could people do these types of things to other people and I realized what we all need to take self-responsibility. And the, um, what she was shining a light on was a deep wound for me, being disrespected. And I'm, we all have deep wounds. We all have experiences that left imprints and has an impact. And a lot of times those wounds get activated by someone else's actions. And we react to the situation thinking we're reacting to the situation. We're actually activating that deep wound from the past. So it brings up all these feelings from the past, all these memories from the past, and it doesn't feel good. But what do you do with that? And so, as I realized, and it was pointed out to me by a friend, that this person really is shining a light on the disrespect feeling that I get when people do stuff like this and that it's something I'm, I thought I had released but it's still within me so the only thing you can do with something like that is be with it you have to be with the feeling a lot of times we I know for me I'll speak for myself oh I like oh it's back again oh, I can't believe it I thought I dealt with this and you kind of get mad at yourself that it's still there and that's the last thing you need to do there's nothing really to do but feel the feelings. And I know it's not the easiest thing in the world and you probably didn't want to hear it, but it is the only way to let it go. So be with it, breathe into it, feel it fully, and then it'll dissolve. And it still might be there, but it won't be as intense. So it's a work in progress. So I invite you to notice when you're triggered and ask yourself, what is the trigger? What is it shining a light on within me? Is it that they, well, there's a two things to it. They, people can be disrespectful. You probably need to bring attention to it. But also the, the, the emotions that we have around these events are ours. It's our reaction to it. So I invite you to own your emotions, your reactions. And as these things come up, especially during the holiday season, examine what it is breathe into it you don't need to know where it came from you don't need to overanalyze it just be with it and see what happens just see what happens and be kind to yourself and don't beat yourself up over it don't beat the other person up over it that doesn't mean you don't speak up for yourself but you don't have to create chaos and be um, upset and just take your time and be with yourself. And that's how to process through some of these things. 
So hopefully that is helpful to you. And if you have questions or if you want to give me um, any reports of how this helped you, please leave me a comment below. Thank you and have a great day.